Hey everybody, what's going on? I hope you're having a great day today. I just wanted to jump in here real quick and do a quick video on this short, tiny little script I was working on. Uh, because if you're like me, um, you tend to get confused a little bit when you're using workspaces. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. I use my window managers and they all come with workspaces, you know, one through nine usually, some of them have 10, some have more, uh, whatever. I'm not a big fan of having a lot of windows open on one workspace and I'm not a fan of having a lot of windows open on individual workspaces. But that being said, they are great for the fact that you can have a lot going on and not be completely cluttered on one window or have a bunch of tabs on the bottom of your window like in a normal desktop environment. But when you do that, for me personally anyway, I tend to get confused and forget what I have on what workspace. So say I have like uh, Brave opened on workspace number one up here and I've got uh, you know Nemo on workspace two and then over here like I've got my video going, I've got simple screen recorder running over here on nine and maybe I've got a terminal here in seven. You know I've got to get all this stuff opened up and I start tending to do a kind of bounce around on my workspaces to try and remember what I had where. Oh, I want to go back to my terminal, so let me go to three. No, it wasn't on three, it was on six. Was it six? No, it wasn't six, you know, and I, and I bounce around. So I figured there's got to be a better way to do this. There's got to be something I can do to actually know what's on each of my individual workspaces. So I figured, like I've been doing for a while now, let's go ahead and write a script. So if I open a terminal, Let's clear the screen and let's zoom way in here and I am going to vim into this script window.sh. So, like I said, very short, very simple script. And I'm going to add on to this um, probably the ability to select workspaces and go to them, but for right now this just kind of displays for me what I've got going on in each workspace. So basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have a for this specific script. Now, you might be able to do work around that in Bash. I personally hadn't figured that out yet, but uh, uh, so this isn't a Bash script because it's not using strictly Bash, so it's it's using other tools. Um, like I've got awk and stuff like that, but um, that being said, basically what it does is you have to have awk installed and you have to have um, WM control or WMCTRL. It's a great tool. It's real simple to install. If you just open up your terminal and whatever system you're running, if you're on uh, Arch, you just type in sudo pacman s WMCTRL and that'll install it on Arch. Um, I believe I checked that and uh, I believe I saw it in there. If not, you can use yay. I'm sure it's on the, on the AUR. Um, if you're on um, Debian, it would be a sudo apt install WMCTRL and like me on void I basically just ran a sudo xbps dash install dash s wmctrl so you'll just have to make sure you have that tool installed um, aux should be on your system and um, mine actually runs through dmenu so you'll have to have dmenu set up that being said all I do is I create an array called open and that array runs this win wmctrl command and if we open up this terminal again and let's clear the screen on that one and let's zoom in a little bit if I run WM CTRL dash L this gives me a list of my um, windows that are open right here I have a simple screen recorder over here on 9 it, sh it shows 8 because they're incremented down 1 actually is 0 so it's 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so on workspace 8, I have simple screen recorder. On workspace 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I have alacrity. And on workspace 9, which is actually going to be 10, which is this drop down that I have, I have alacrity running as well. So basically, it just gives you, um, I believe, the hex. Uh, don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. Um, it gives you the workspace, and it gives you what is actually running on each workspace. So I run that command, that WMCTRL, and I pipe it into awk because I'm not interested in all that information. All I want is I want the NF, which is going to be the last field here, and I want field number two, which is this field here, which is my um, workspace number, but I want to increment that by one because, like I said, when you just run this normally, it starts counting at zero as opposed to start ca starting counting at one. And so instead of having to do the math in my head of subtracting or adding uh, one 
digit to these, I basically just ran that and let awk do it for me because, well, I'm lazy. So, that being said, I create this array by running the window manager control dash L piped into awk and then printf the last field and then the second field incremented by one. And then what I do is I have workspace here and what that's going to do is it's going to echo this array, see it's open and opens, echoes this array and it pipes it into D menu and it gives me line 10, it gives me dash P for a prompt and it says current window list with workspace number, which that's, let me get rid of that uh, pound sign, oh, I just gave away my age there, that uh, hashtag, when I was young that was called a pound sign, <laughs> but, but uh, that's that's neither here nor there. Um, so that, that being said, um, again, we just created an array and then we're piping that array into D menu, so now we will, oops, let me close that, we'll write and quit. And so see, I'm on window one, two, three, four, five, six right now, and I have Alacrity open. So if we go back to window one and let's open Brave, um, I have simple screen recorder open on window nine. Let's go to window three and I'm gonna open Alacrity, or not Alacrity, but I'll open uh, Firefox. Um, maybe if it wants to go ahead and open for me. It might not for some reason. Well, that'd be, that, there we go. So you got two instances, it was slow for some reason. So basically on Workspace 1, I have Brave. On Workspace 3, I have Firefox. On Workspace 6, I have Alacrity. And on Workspace 9, I have Simple Screen Recorder. So what I've done is, let's open up another terminal here and uh, clear the screen, zoom in. If I go into vim.config, into my auto start for Herb's Lift, because that's the window manager I'm running, and we go down, you can see I've created a keybind here, HC keybind mod, which is my alt key, but mod key W is gonna spawn that script I just wrote, which is the home, it's in my home directory, and it's called windows.sh. So I created a hotkey for that, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. I created a hotkey for that, uh, for mod W. And uh, so, Basically, what we should be able to do now is let's write and quit out of there. We're going to close this window. Again, on one, we have Brave. On three, we have Firefox. On six, we have Alacrity. <clears throat> I am so sorry. <clears throat> and on nine, we have uh, Simple Screen Recorder. So let's go back to two, a window that doesn't have anything going on on it. And I'm going to press that mod W, and we're going to launch. And you can see as I do that, Right here on uh, Simple Screen Recorder on Window 9. I've got Alacrity on Window 6. I've got Alacrity on Window 10, which is my drop down. I have Brave on 1, and I have Firefox on Window 3. So, what that does, if I now escape out of that and let's close, let's go to 1 and we'll quit Brave, and we will go to 3 and we'll quit Firefox, but we'll go to 2 and we'll open Cute Browser. So now I have Cute Browser open on two. I have uh, Alacrity open on six. Let's go ahead and close that on 10. And then I have Simple Screen Recorder on nine. So we'll go back to an empty workspace and we will hit Alt W again. And now you can see I've got Simple Screen Recorder on nine. That's correct. I've got Alacrity on two, correct. And I've got Cute Browser on two. So this is just a real quick way for me to be able to pop a hotkey real quick and see, okay, what window was on or what workspace was that window on? Ah, oh, there it is. So now we can escape out of there and I can go to six. So again, I'm going to uh, improve on this script a little bit and add the functionality to actually jump to that by selecting the option in the menu, but I haven't got that far yet. I just wanted to get this out, kind of show you what I've been working on. I hope uh, maybe you can use it and it'll help you out. So that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, you guys enjoy your weekend and God bless.